I've got some easy recipes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing three super easy and delicious Campbell soup inspired recipes with you guys. All three of these are delicious. One of them I made up, but I do have typed out for you guys. Um, it ended up turning out really good and whenever that happens for me personally as well like like i know i share recipes with you guys but when i make up a recipe and it turns out really good i like that i can type it up now and have it for you guys as well as have it for myself and then um the other one was a new to me recipe that my best friend said that i needed to try and it ended up turning out really good as well and then the last one has become a family favorite. It is super easy and it is delicious. So I will be sharing all three of those recipes with you guys. So let's go ahead and get cooking and I hope you enjoy. We're gonna start out with no peak beef tips. You guys, this was a new to me recipe and it was so good. So you're gonna need some beef broth. I just use water and beef bouillon. I'm also gonna use the Campbell's cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. I've got a brown gravy mix, and then I have my own onion soup mix. That's what's in the jar. And then you can either use like beef stew meat already cut up, or you can get a chuck roast and cube it up if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything added in and mixed in this eight by eight casserole dish that you literally just dump everything in, give it a stir, and then you're gonna cover it with foil, cook it on, I think I did like 300 for like three or four hours. Um, you just wanna cook it lower and slower, that way the meat gets nice and tender and falls apart. I wanted to mention too that you can definitely do this in the crock pot, so either way, they're both delicious. Here's what it looks like when it was all done. This was so good. The meat just fell right apart. We served it over mashed potatoes with some leftover broccoli casserole and some cornbread swirls. Next up, we're gonna do a version of beef stroganoff. So this is just one I come up with and it ended up being really good and I will definitely be making it again. So I've got some ground beef there that I have already cooked up and drained and I've just added it into my crock pot. And then I'm gonna go in with that Campbell's can of the beefy mushroom soup. If I had another can of the Campbell's um, cream of mushroom with roasted garlic, I would have done that, but I used my last can for that other recipe. So we're just going in with plain mushroom soup. And then I have some dehydrated mushrooms that I have done. So since I didn't have any fresh, I went ahead and did a couple handfuls of those in there. And you guys, those turned out so good. You would have had no clue that they were dehydrated. They plumped up just like regular um, mushrooms. So then you're just gonna add in some water with some beef bouillon or beef broth, whatever you want to do. I will have a recipe typed out for you guys. I'll have it in the description box. Cause like I said, I kind of made this one up and it ended up turning out really good and I want to definitely keep it for the future. So I'm just gonna give everything a good mix and then we're just gonna put the lid on it. And since everything's cooked, you're just kind of marrying the flavors together. So I would just keep this on low for about three to four hours. Now it's time to go ahead and cook our pasta to get it added in. I'm just doing about a half a bag of um, egg noodles and I've just salted my water and I'm just gonna cook those until al dente. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add those directly into the crock pot, give everything a mix. Um, I cooked those to al dente because this was a Wednesday night and I needed to keep it warm for about an hour till we got back from basketball practice. So that way it gave it a little wiggle room for them to not overcook in the crock pot. And then I added in about a fourth a cup of sour cream. I did set that out for about an hour ahead of time just to let it get to room temperature. That way it wouldn't curdle. 
here's what it looks like when it was all done. Like I said, I made this one up. It was super good. It was kind of like a beef stroganoff, like hamburger helper-ish recipe. So hope you try it and let me know if you like it. Last but not least is pizza tortellini bake. Now I have shared this one a couple times on my channel, but it has become a family favorite. It is so good. So you're gonna need about a pound or a pound and a half of cooked seasoned ground beef. You're gonna need a pack of tortellini, some cheese. I've got my homemade spaghetti sauce, and then you also need a Campbell's can of cheddar cheese soup. So I've already cooked up my ground beef, I've drained it, so we're gonna go ahead and add in that can of Campbell's cheese soup. We're gonna add in our spaghetti sauce. Of course, if you don't have homemade, then just you know use your favorite, whatever store-bought that you like. You're gonna mix that together, and then we are going to add in our frozen tortellini. And then I'm making mine into two different pans because um, I had one for now, and then I froze one for a freezer meal for later. I'm just going to divide that into these two pans. I love that I was able to cook once and we will eat twice because I'll have one in the freezer. So I'm just going to divide that up. Of course, this does make a traditional 9 by 13. Um, and then you're just going to take, top it with pepperonis and then top it with cheese. I think you could do either or. If you like crispy pepperonis, then you could do the pepperonis at the top versus underneath the cheese. Totally up to you, it's your kitchen, you play around with it. But this is, like I said, this has become a family favorite. It is so good. Um, I just baked this at 350 for 30 minutes and then that other one I just wrapped and put in the freezer. Here's what it looks like after it is done. It is so good, bubbly and cheesy. I just served it with some poor man's garlic bread and everybody was happy and had full tummies. And that's it you guys, that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these three super easy and delicious Campbell soup inspired recipes. All three of these were 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend if you have never made them before. Don't forget, I will have any links in the description box below for you guys for full recipes. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.